But on the cans, some of them are like 226 eggs in a can. Oh, okay. Yeah, once you mix it up, yeah. it does. It does. Okay, now this is going to take a minute, but we're going to dress it up with a little ham. We're going to dress it up with a little so cheese. I have, we're a take I have a question, and I'm yeah. not making a repeat something. That's okay. So if you mix these up and like you can put these eggs in ice cream and you don't have to worry about raw eggs. Because, right? Everything oh. has to be cooked. That's a good point. Thank you for that. Never use your raw, never use your powdered eggs or your egg crystals in any food that you're not going to cook. Mm -hmm. Short notice. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Never use them in anything that's not going to be cooked. So if you're going to use an eggnog or some salad dressings or anything like that, don't use your powdered eggs. Oh, and the only reason is, is because there's that fear of salmonella. However, typically when they're dehydrated, they're pasteurized. Yeah, so I would think that... You would, would but they okay. still give you that caution every time. And I just think it's not worth the risk. It's not worth the risk. So what is the, um, the life of powdered eggs once they're open? You know, it's only about 12 months. Once they're open, they're 12 months. And, you know, I got a little bit of conflicting, and I haven't tried. I didn't really have time to let it open and try it after 18 months and say, hey, you know, they were still good. But the manufacturers do say about 12, 12 months on it. And some will say they will last. What's that? On crystal and powder. On crystal and powder. Yeah. However, the guy that did the crystals, he just kept saying the advantage of having the egg crystal is that you can store it unopened for 10 years. Where all the, pe the powdered egg manufacturers were telling us, um, yeah, five years. But since, since you have to put them in the refrigerator, they say that's safest. So if you, were gonna, if you weren't going to use them right away, I'd stick them in your refrigerator. I think that might be a good reason. Can you freeze them? To buy the small ones. You can freeze them. But you don't need to. Yeah, but I have more room in my freezer than in the <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, you don't need to before they're before they're open. They're just completely shelf stable. So, so it's just twelve months in the refrigerator though. Yes. Or long yes. Months well yes. Twelve months unopened. However, mm -hmm. If you ask the manufacturers, what did I say? 12 months open. 12 months after they're open. 12 months after they're open. However, when you talk to the, about the products that are sitting on the shelf in the grocery store, they have a 12 month, usually a one year shelf life date. And they're not refrigerated. So it's, it's hard to know. I'm not... Because I haven't been able to really test them that way, um, there is this, have you guys ever seen this mix and mail cookbook? I called the gal who wrote this and that, and that has the rights to sell that, and I said, now I'm telling the, manu you know, the manufacturers are telling me that it needs to be refrigerated, you know, or it doesn't last as long, and she says, we do our mixes all the time with powdered eggs in them, and... They last up to 12 months on the shelf. So, unopened. Because they make mixes. This mix and mail company will make like roll mix or cornbread mix. That's their whole thing is you make these mixes all in advance. And then you just leave them on your shelf. And when you need something, you just add water because you've pre-made it all. And you've added the powdered egg, the powdered milk, the powdered margarine or whatever, <coughs> whatever you want. They, they make it, um, you make it up, and she said they're testing, they had it at least, um, at least, you wanted cheese, is that what it is? Um, they have them at least on the shelf for 12 months and they know they work. Um, Mine sit on my shelf and I've never had a problem. And how long do you think you've had them on your shelf? Unopened. No, open, after you've opened them. Well, I experimented with some and left them there for a couple of years, and they were still fine. They still baked fine. They still baked fine? Yeah. I don't scramble them. See, you know, um, part of the problem that we find is that the FDA regulates certain things, and they make them adhere to certain
certain regulations. But then really in the end, they will last longer than the FDA will tell them. And sometimes you get into these manufacturers and they truly can't tell you anything different. So if you grow something that's open, like powdered eggs, would they last longer than five years? Has frozen? anybody frozen these? Frozen eggs? I have never frozen them. That's a good question. You know what? Let me actually find out on that. And we'll post it. <coughs> or could you, um, if you open it from the can and like then you sealed it in like your seal mill thing or whatever? Yeah. Yes, because you know what? I'll tell you the two things that damage the eggs that you have to be careful with, and that's the light and the air. So they always want you to have a tight-fitting lid, seal it up, because powdered eggs do absorb odors. They do absorb odors, and they do absorb moisture. It doesn't ruin them, even though it might change the flavor, it might compromise them a little. It wouldn't make them dangerous. It wouldn't make them dangerous. All right, who's going to be my first tester on this? I just want to see if they're cooked all the way through. <laughs> if you can reseal it? If you can, uh, yes. If you can reseal them, because what you want to do is make sure they have no air and no light. So they say keep them in a dark place and keep them sealed because you don't want to have... Um, you don't want to have them absorb if they are exposed to the air and they're in your refrigerator. Now, if they're in your can with a tight seal lid, you know the white plastic lids, then they are, you're good to go with that because that's a, they're in that dark can and, um. But won't that get rusty in your? I don't think so because they're dry and you don't really get a lot of moisture in your fridge. Well, you do in your freezer check on the freezing. Okay, now you just have to take a look at these eggs. That was a lot, a little more than I intended. But um, I, you cannot cook the powdered eggs. I mean, if this were in a chafing dish, yeah, if these were in a chafing dish in a restaurant, which I promise a lot of them use it,
powdered eggs.